songs that she loved. Lord help. And you, but you see, there was one story in particular, isn't there, baby? That one night we were sitting at our kitchen table and that little girl, she began to sing. We fall down. We lay our crowns at the feet of Jesus. The greatness of mercy and love at the feet of Jesus. We cry, holy, holy, holy. And she got through that course and she stopped and she looked past her mama and she looked past her daddy and she looked out the back window and she said, mama, you see that man? And Aaron and I look at each other and we said, what man, baby? She said, that man that came down because I singed holy. And so as I stood in that hospital room, trying to figure out what song to sing to calm her down. I said, Lord, you have sent the angels of heaven down before God. I declare that you do it again. And we begin to sing out to God. And Jason, you know we've always been worshipers, our whole family. But I'm going to tell you what, it was in that moment that I learned what the true heart of worship was. That when it looked hopeless and the baby is laying there and covered in blood, and I could still tell him what a holy God he was. All I could do was weep in his presence and raise my hands. And that child went into the most peaceful sleep out of nowhere. We rolled her down the hall. We were able to get the test that all came back. All is well, all is well, all is well. That baby went home several hours later. Come on, somebody give yes, God some praise. Yes, yes. What the enemy meant for evil, God will get the glory out of this. He will get the glory out of it. And I'm going to tell you what, we have told everybody that we see that the devil has messed up because I have told him, you don't touch our family. I had a talk with your wife two days before this happened. I said, do you know how blessed we are as much as, as we have messed up the kingdom of the enemy and, and our babies are well? And I said, he has done messed up. And Aaron, he has preached with more conviction and with more passion and we have seen more souls saved more people's lives changed and determined to walk on for God because they have learned that he is a healer. He is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. When we don't know what it's going to look like, he knows the outcome. That's right. And I came across the scripture the other day, and I'm sorry I'm taking this You're whole right. thing. I came across the scripture in the book of Psalms, the 34th chapter in the 19th verse. It says, many are the afflictions of the righteous. But the Lord is able to deliver him out of them all. And down one verse, verse 20, it says, And he shall keep all of his bones, and not one of them will be broken. And a week later when we went back to the doctor, this doctor hadn't seen her before. He said, What happened? Did she just fall running down the sidewalk? And I said, No, sir. My baby fell 15 feet. And he said, How did she not come out of that without a how did she come out of that with not one broken bone? And I said, Because I serve a righteous God. I serve a God that is a healer. And that child will tell you. She'll say, Mama, I fell out of a window. And I said, I know, baby. She says, but Jesus caught me. Jesus caught me. And I said, there's not a doubt in my mind that the Lord did not have his hand on her that day. She wouldn't be here. The angels of heaven came and swooped her down. And she said, Jesus caught me, Mama. And he was floating. He was floating. And I'm thankful that I have a Savior that catches me every time yes, I fall. Hallelujah. That catches my baby every time she falls. And if you have fallen tonight, the Lord is able to catch you and rescue you from the hands of the enemy tonight. Thank you, Lord. Come on, somebody give God praise. You know, what I found out is that uh, when something happens to your kids, um, when I saw her laying on that bed with their head split open at that moment didn't know anything the whole way to the hospital I was praying like nobody's business when something happens to your babies you get down to business with God and we didn't care who hurt us. When I, when, as soon as I heard it, I was in the devil wards. I didn't care who was beside me. I didn't care what they thought about my tongue talking either at that time. I began to pray in tongues. I began to speak Jesus' name. I knew there's power in the name of Jesus. 
and she was laying hands on the doctor speaking in tongues and saying God their hands God God their hands well let me tell you something you know you have to get a greater power than you yourself have I knew I had to touch the throne room of God but when I touched him hallelujah I'm glad he's still a healer today I'm glad he's still a protector I'm glad he healed my baby I'm glad she's alive and well I've got a reason to praise him because my baby's walking she's talking uh, she's lifting her hands uh, she's telling Jesus that she loves him uh, somebody give God a praise for a miraculous God uh, that's able to do exceeding uh, abundantly above all that your mind can comprehend or think somebody shout hallelujah so what I got to tell some people tonight is that you may have a hopeless situation right now. Maybe your kids are having cancer. Maybe they got cancer in their body. Or maybe you've got some, a, a marriage that needs to be fixed. Or, or maybe you just messed up. Well, I come for, to tell you a good thing. God can make a miracle out of a mess. God can create a miracle out of whatever you're going through. And all you got to do is call on his name. I believe that we just got to get on our knees a little more. Amen. Because prayer changes things. I'll say it again. Prayer changes your situation. It'll change your bank account. It'll change your marriage. It'll change the way you walk. It'll change the way you talk. When you pray, the Bible says in all things. Somebody say all things. Whatsoever you ask in prayer, believe in. Somebody say believe in. That you shall receive. Somebody say shall. It didn't say I might receive it. It said I shall receive it. And because I pray for Eva to be okay, somebody get excited with me. It shall be done. I wish somebody get a shall in the spirit right now. I said it shall be done. Right now you're looking for a job. That contract shall be laid on your desk. Somebody give God a praise because he's 